Hi and welcome to lesson 10. Today we are going to learn about water states. But before starting with the class, let's check the materials we need. First you need to watch this video. You will also need your My Pulse Are Here 2A student book and activity book. Also, today there is going to be a special worksheet. It's different from the worksheets that you use normally. This worksheet is for a project. You will do an experiment today. But I'm going to explain about that at the end of the video. Let's check what we learned about water in the previous lesson. Well, we can separate water into two main ideas. Salt water, which is bad for our health and it's found in oceans, and Fresh water, which is good for us, but it's limited. And we can find it in lakes, glaciers, underwater, underground, um, and many other places. We also learned that water has many, many uses. The first one and most important is to stay alive. Plants, animals, and we, people, need water to be alive. We also use at home. We also use it in farms or in industries. There are many, many uses for water. Also, we learned that there is a problem with water, which is water pollution, which is mainly caused by us, people, when we contaminate and we put trash where it not belongs. But we learned that we can do many things to help about this. So, please open your My Pulse are here to a student's book on page 58 and 59. All right, so on the top, we have the let's find out section. As always, these questions are questions that we can think about during the whole unit. So don't worry if you cannot answer today. The first one is, what are the different forms of water? The next one, what happens when we mix water with some things? And if we read the boys' questions, we have, how do you use water at home? Well, that's simple. You can think of all the things you do with water at home. You can pause the video and then continue. All right. And the next one is, how much water should you drink a day? This depends. If you're an adult, two, three liters. If you're a kid, um, one, one and a half liter. But this answer is different according to your body and weight. Let's go to the picture. Here we see our friends as scientists. They are working with water. There's something very, very important that you have to know. Many liquids are transparent. That means they have no color. We are going to talk about that later. So not all liquids that are transparent are water. You have to be super careful with that because some liquids can be toxic and they look very similar to water. For example, in a lab, you cannot drink water from the sinks. It's a law. Let's continue. Page 60 and 61. All right, so here we see our friends that they are working with water, steam, and ice. We have the first, the first question that says, where can you see water? Well, we have a glass of water on the table. And how is each form of water different? And you have the answer right in front of you. We have water, which is a liquid. You have steam or vapor, which is gas. And we have ice, which is a solid. Something very important that you have to understand about water are some characteristics of water in every form. Water as liquid, water as solid or ice, water as gas or steam. In the three forms, which are the three states of matter, we can say that water has no color, no smell, no taste. Also, we have in the World Bank, 
the word hard, shape, hot, and cold. These words can be important for the project, so use them. Also, let's see the be careful section. Steam is very hot and can scold you. Correct. You have to be very careful when you have steam because steam is produced when water boils and reaches over 100 Celsius degrees. That means it's super hot. In the case of ice, people can also get burned from ice when they touch it for a long period of time with their bare hands. And ice is formed when water is below zero Celsius degrees. So it's a lot of uh, temperature that water has to go to change its state. When we talk about water, we have to understand something. Everything that you can see and touch is made of particles. Particles are little, little things that we cannot see with our eyes, but we know they are there because we can touch and feel things. And this is not exception for water. Particles, as I told you, are little things that do different things in the different states. So, depending on temperature, these particles react in different ways. Let's see the we care section. Use water carefully. Turn off the tap properly when not in use. Clean water is precious. Yes, this is super important. We learned in the previous video that water, that it's good for us, fresh water, it's very, very little. There's a lot of water on this planet, but most of that is salt water, and you know that it can be dangerous if you drink too much of it. Let's continue. Here we have our section that gives you information. Water comes in different forms. All forms of water have no color, no smell, and no taste. Ice is cold and hard, and of course is wet. Water takes the shape of its container. Hey, this is the same with air. When you blow um, air into a balloon, it gets the shape of the balloon. The same thing happens with water. That's fantastic. Let's continue. Steam is hot. It does not have a shape. Correct. There's no shape for steam. Steam is very, very useful. You can use it to do things like cooking or to move things. But we can talk about that in another class. Let's continue. Please open your activity book on page 24. You can pause the video and then we can check the answers together. All right, so this is about the different forms of water. You have to draw a blue circle around ice, a green circle around water, and a red circle around steam. The blue circle will go with the ice cube on Joe's hand and the ice cubes on the freezer. The green circle will go with the water running from the sink, the glass of water that Joe, Joe is holding, and of course, the glass of water that is on the table and the water that is uh, next to the mop. Oh, I didn't saw, I didn't see, my bad, sorry, I didn't see the ice cube that was holding Zoe the cat. That also goes with blue. In the case of the red, which is steam, we can have the food that it's on the bowl and the steam that is coming out from the kettle. All right, so those are the three ways of 
water that we can see in this picture. Let's continue with the lesson. So we can say that water can be a liquid as water, gas as a steam, or solid as ice. Water has a different temperature depending on the state it is. Yes, remember, to get steam, you have to boil water over 100 Celsius degrees. And to have ice, you have to cool down water below zero Celsius degrees. All forms of water has no taste, color, or smell. And water can change its state back. This happens a lot in nature when we have rain or snow. Can you see the picture on the top right? Well, there are little, little circles there uh, that represent the particles. These particles are very, very close when the object is a solid and they move very, very slow in this state. When they are liquid, they separate a little bit and they can move a little bit faster, but they are still slow. And the most separate particles would be when we have gas. In this case, particles move faster. So we have different ways how particles move and the speed they move, of course, when they are solid, liquid, or gas. Okay, this is just to wrap up the lesson. This worksheet is the worksheet that you are going to work on to do the uh, experiment, the project. Here you have to complete this, the chart by getting a little bit of ice, a little bit of water, and a little bit of steam. Please do this with an adult because steam is very hot. Here you can you have to read the sentences or the questions that are on the top, like does it have color ice? Does it have color water? And does it have color steam? Then you have to complete how does it feel? What does it smell like? And what does it taste like? In the instructions, there you're, you're going to find some vocabulary that can help you to complete these ideas. After you finish with this, you have to take a picture and upload it to the form that I designed for this project. I hope you had I hope you had fun with this lesson today and that uh, you uh, have fun also doing this project. It's very interesting to learn about the different states of water and of everything. Have a great day and see you on the next lesson. Bye bye.